According to a report by the National Security Agency NSA, China's quantum computer, called Zhoujiang, has demonstrated the ability to perform certain calculations at a speed that is 100 trillion times faster than the world's fastest classical computer. This means that China's quantum computer could potentially break many types of encryption used to secure online communications, including those used by governments, militaries, and financial institutions, in a matter of seconds. To put this into perspective, the report notes that a classical computer would take approximately 2.5 billion years to break a 256-bit RSA encryption key, which is a common encryption standard used to secure online transactions. In contrast, China's quantum computer could potentially break the same encryption key in just 8 hours and 35 minutes. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. This has significant implications for national security, as it could allow China to intercept and decode sensitive communications, including those related to military operations, diplomatic communications, and financial transactions. It could also give China an upper hand in cyber warfare, allowing them to launch devastating attacks on critical infrastructure and steal sensitive information with impunity. The NSA report warns that the development of quantum computers poses a significant threat to national security and urges governments and organizations to develop new encryption methods that are resistant to quantum attacks. However, the development of such methods is still in its infancy, and it may take several years or even decades to develop and deploy new encryption standards that can withstand the power of quantum computers. Quantum computing is a revolutionary technology that has the potential to transform the way we approach complex problems in various fields, including science, finance, healthcare, and national security. By harnessing the power of quantum mechanics, quantum computers can process vast amounts of data exponentially faster and more efficiently than classical computers. This has significant implications for military applications, where speed, accuracy, and security are paramount. What is quantum computing? Classical computers use bits, which can only be in one of two states, zero or one. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use quantum bits or qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously, represented by a combination of zero and one. This property, known as superposition, allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of data in parallel, making them incredibly fast and powerful. Quantum computing in military applications The military is one of the most significant beneficiaries of quantum computing technology. The potential applications are vast and varied, including 1. Cryptography and cybersecurity. Quantum computers can break many types of encryption used to secure online communications, but they can also be used to create unbreakable encryption methods, such as quantum key distribution. 2. Optimization and logistics. Quantum computers can quickly solve complex optimization problems, such as scheduling and resource allocation, which can be applied to military logistics, supply chain management, and mission planning. 3. Artificial intelligence and machine learning. Quantum computers can accelerate machine learning algorithms, enabling faster and more accurate analysis of vast amounts of data, such as satellite imagery and sensor data. 4. Simulation and modeling. Quantum computers can simulate complex systems, such as weather patterns and materials science, allowing for more accurate predictions and better decision-making. 5. Communications and networking. Quantum computers can enable secure and efficient communication networks, such as quantum-secured communication satellites. Growing relevance in modern technology. Quantum computing is no longer a distant concept, it's becoming a reality. Major tech companies, such as Google, IBM, and Microsoft, are investing heavily in quantum computing research and development. Governments, including the United States, China, and the European Union, are also launching initiatives to develop and apply quantum computing technology. Key players in quantum computing 1. Google has developed a 53-qubit quantum processor, Bristlecone, 
and is working on a 72 qubit quantum computer, Quantum AI Lab. 2. IBM has developed a 53 qubit quantum processor, Quantum Experience, and is working on a 127 qubit quantum computer, IBM Quantum System 1. 3. China has made significant investments in quantum computing, including the development of the world's first quantum computer, Zhoujiang, and the launch of a quantum secured communication satellite. Despite significant investments in military technology and strategies, current capabilities are facing numerous challenges and limitations. These limitations pose significant risks to national security, highlighting the need for advancements in various areas to maintain a competitive edge. Limitations of current military technology The increasing reliance on network-centric warfare and the Internet of Things IoT, has created new vulnerabilities to cyber attacks. Current cybersecurity measures are struggling to keep pace with the sophistication of threats. The proliferation of electronic warfare systems has led to a complex electromagnetic environment, making it challenging to operate effectively in contested environments. The development of hypersonic missiles by adversaries has created a significant challenge for air and missile defense systems, which struggle to detect and intercept these fast-moving targets. While AI and machine learning have shown promise in various military applications, they are still in the early stages of development and face challenges in areas such as explainability, reliability, and security. The increasing reliance on satellite communications has created vulnerabilities to jamming, spoofing, and cyber attacks, which can disrupt command and control systems. Limitations of current military strategies Military strategies often rely on linear thinking, which can be ineffective in the face of complex, adaptive, and asymmetric threats. The military's reliance on technology can create vulnerabilities to technological failures, cyber attacks, and obsolescence. The complexity of modern warfare requires more realistic and immersive training and exercises to prepare troops for the challenges they will face. The lack of international cooperation and information sharing can hinder the ability to address global security challenges, such as terrorism and piracy. The military's cybersecurity culture is often inadequate, with a lack of awareness and training among personnel, which can lead to preventable security breaches. The need for advancements To address these limitations and maintain national security, the military must invest in advancements in various areas, including developing quantum-resistant encryption methods and leveraging quantum computing for advanced cybersecurity capabilities. Advancing AI and ML capabilities to improve decision-making, predictive analytics, and autonomous systems. Developing effective countermeasures against hypersonic threats, including advanced sensors, interceptors, and command and control systems. Implementing robust cybersecurity measures, including secure coding practices, vulnerability management, and incident response. Enhancing international cooperation and information sharing to address global security challenges and improve situational awareness. How Quantum Computing Works Quantum bits or qubits are the fundamental units of quantum information, representing a quantum state that can be zero, one, or a superposition of both. Quantum gates are the quantum equivalent of logic gates in classical computing. They perform operations on qubits, such as rotations, entanglement, and measurement. Quantum circuits are the quantum equivalent of digital circuits in classical computing. They consist of a sequence of quantum gates that perform a specific task. Quantum algorithms are the quantum equivalent of software in classical computing. They are designed to solve specific problems, such as factoring large numbers or searching large databases. Implications for data processing Quantum computers can process vast amounts of data exponentially faster and more efficiently than classical computers, making them ideal for complex data analysis and simulation tasks. They can recognize patterns in data that are invisible to classical computers, making them useful for tasks such as image and speech recognition. Furthermore, quantum computers can optimize complex systems and processes, making them useful for tasks such as logistics and supply chain management. Implications for encryption 
Quantum computers can break many types of classical encryption, but they can also be used to create unbreakable quantum encryption methods, such as quantum key distribution. They can enable secure communication over long distances, making them useful for tasks such as secure communication networks and secure data transfer. In addition, quantum computers can enable secure data storage, making them useful for tasks such as secure data archiving and secure data backup. Implications for Strategic Decision-Making in Warfare Quantum computers can analyze vast amounts of data to predict enemy movements and intentions, making them useful for tasks such as predictive analytics and strategic planning. They can optimize the allocation of resources, such as troops and equipment, making them useful for tasks such as logistics and supply chain management. Quantum computers can enable secure communication between units and commanders, making them useful for tasks such as secure communication networks and secure data transfer. Quantum computers can enable secure cybersecurity measures, such as quantum-resistant encryption and secure data storage, making them useful for tasks such as secure data archiving and secure data backup. Challenges and Limitations Quantum computers are prone to quantum noise, which can cause errors and instability in calculations. They are currently small-scale and need to be scaled up to perform complex tasks. Quantum computers require precise control over quantum states, which can be challenging to maintain. Quantum computers can also be used to break classical encryption methods, making them a potential cybersecurity risk. Operation Dragon's Eye a hypothetical scenario of how China uses quantum computing to its advantage. In the year 2025, tensions between China and the United States have been escalating over the South China Sea. China has been rapidly expanding its military presence in the region, and the US has been conducting freedom of navigation operations to challenge China's claims. The situation is on the brink of boiling over into conflict. In a surprise move, China launches a massive cyber attack on the U.S. military's command and control systems, crippling its ability to respond to the crisis. The U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet, stationed in the South China Sea, is caught off guard and struggles to coordinate a response. Meanwhile, China's People's Liberation Army PLA, has been secretly developing a quantum computer, codenamed, Dragon's Eye. This powerful machine has been designed to break through even the most advanced encryption methods used by the U.S. military. Using Dragon's Eye, the PLA is able to 1. Crack U.S. military encryption. The PLA uses Dragon's Eye to break through the encryption used by the U.S. Navy's communication systems, allowing them to intercept and decode sensitive information about the U.S. fleet's movements and plans. 2. Predict U.S. military movements. The PLA uses Dragon's Eye to analyze vast amounts of data on the U.S. Navy's past movements and tactics, allowing them to predict the U.S. fleet's likely responses to the crisis. 3. Optimize PLA military operations. The PLA uses Dragon's Eye to optimize its military operations, identifying the most effective targets and tactics to use against the U.S. fleet. With the U.S. Navy's command and control systems crippled and its encryption broken, the PLA is able to launch a devastating attack on the U.S. fleet. The U.S. Navy is caught off guard and struggles to respond effectively, suffering significant losses. The conflict ends with a decisive Chinese victory, and the U.S. is forced to withdraw its fleet from the South China Sea. The PLA's use of quantum computing has given it a transformative advantage, allowing it to outmaneuver and outfight the U.S. military. The scenario highlights the potential transformative power of quantum computing in warfare. China's use of Dragon's Eye has allowed it to 1. Gain a strategic advantage. By breaking through U.S. military encryption and predicting U.S. military movements, China has gained a significant strategic advantage. 2. Disrupt U.S. military operations. The PLA uses of quantum computing has disrupted the U.S. Navy's command and control systems, crippling its ability to respond to the crisis. 3. Change the balance of power. The scenario illustrates how quantum computing could change the balance of power in a conflict, giving the side with the technology a significant advantage. 
Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize warfare by providing a significant advantage in various areas, including 1. Cryptography. Quantum computers can break many types of classical encryption, but they can also be used to create unbreakable quantum encryption methods. 2. Optimization. Quantum computers can optimize complex systems and processes, making them useful for tasks such as logistics and supply chain management. 3. Simulation. Quantum computers can simulate complex systems, allowing for more accurate predictions and better decision-making. 4. Machine learning. Quantum computers can speed up machine learning algorithms, enabling faster and more accurate analysis of large datasets. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's military strategy and development. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy this episode. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like and share our video. We will bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.